Hi, I'm Jen Royal with the Boston Herald and welcome to another edition of Talk of the Town sponsored by Sports World of Peabody, New England's largest sports memorabilia store. I am here at the home of Joe and Jennifer Andruzzi to talk to them about the Joe Andruzzi Foundation, what they're doing for the 2014 marathon that's happening in just a couple of weeks and their thoughts uh, still lingering from last year's marathon where Joe Andruzzi was one of the heroes of that horrific day in Boston. From the tragedy of last year, there's so many struggles that people are having. If it's that they're a victim and they were impacted by losing a limb, or if they have post-traumatic um, syndrome, mm -hmm. there's so many levels, I think, that people are facing. And for us as an organization, we had runners out there mm -hmm. and we had their families at Forum. And there were so many elements that we kind of went through in the motions and the fact that for myself i would choose to run and start training for the 2014 marathon really kind of tells right. the world who knows jen and Drusy <laughs> what the impact of april 15th was for me because i never ran before right. so so do you joe do you think about that in in what you saw in how you, I, I know that photograph on espn.com of you carrying the woman and um, I remember when that picture came out, we were like, whoa, that's Joe Andruzzi. You know, right place, right time, wrong place, wrong time. Um, for me, it's more or less if something triggers a memory or, mm. you know, or someone and, or being someplace too. You know, we've been back to the forum many times and, you know, just certain things you, uh, you think about, but overall, you know, we can't live in fear. Right. And life does go on. You move forward, and uh, you know my one brother who was uh, part of 9/11 and in Tower One told me uh, after my cancer battle, and uh, told me after last year, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And you know I live by those words and try and get stronger every day. So talk about your foundation and, and what it means to you, and uh, really just what it's about. Well, Jen was by my bedside uh, day in and day out, whether uh, throwing up and uh, other fun stuff like that. But um, we raised uh, uh, about a half million dollars during my playing days for brain cancer research. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to uh, do the same, but have more of a personal touch on it. And instead of just raising the money and donating it, now we can help people on a personal note. And in her research, she found there was a much out there for the home end bills. Mm -hmm. So the, the mortgage, joint, the mortgage the rent, utilities, and things like that. <clears throat> so in May of 2008, the Joe Andrewsy Foundation was uh, started up. And since our incentive, we've helped over uh, 1,500 families and individuals. We've donated over half a million dollars to brain cancer research, still in honor of uh, C.J. Buckley and we strive to do more. It's about being positive, about keeping that smile on your face because overall, you know, laughter is that best medicine and, you know, it's a lot of things how we put forward to our 50 runners yeah. and knowing that they're going to be out there. They're not just waking up and running 26 miles, 26.2 miles on April 21st. It's, uh, it's many months of training and all that training on top of it, they're still they're raising money for our foundation and helping us pay it forward. So Jennifer, you mentioned you're not a runner, but you became one. Yeah. Uh, what made you want to run 26.2 miles? Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, especially when I couldn't run a mile. Yeah. So I think the biggest thing for me last year was really, it was thinking of my kids yeah. and saying, how, how can I tell them that you can't let anything defeat you and, mm -hmm. and to still have courage and put one foot in front of the other. And for myself too, selfishly, um, telling myself like, you can do it. Um, and we had, and also like that whole mama bear thing with mm -hmm. all the runners and not wanting them to be out there by themselves yeah. because all of our runners become a part of our family. And I know now, due to a sideline injury, not football, but a um, <laughs> running injury, that uh, I won't be out on the roof. Yeah. But I'll be at the finish line. Right. I'll be at Forum 
restaurant on the 21st waiting for them and cheering them on and and i would not give one day back of training first is going to be april 15th and you know that's yeah. day of memory and the day that uh you know we'll be in boston and you know try uh, you know take deep breaths yeah. and uh you know think about uh a year ago yeah uh, you know when we come and taking the strides to move forward and uh, you know, seeing the ones that are have that were there and knowing that everything that revolved around that day. Mm -hmm. And then I think a week later when we get out there yep. and everything leading up to the marathon. And I know we'll try and it's gonna be in the back of your mind, but knowing that there's a, uh, you know, I think 36,000 runners it's crazy. that are going to be out there. Fearless. Yeah, they're going out there. And, you know, some of them will be crossing very early. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the later in the day when you right. have those charity runners, yeah. not just our, uh, you know, 47 that are running, but seeing all the other runners that are out there, the charity runners that, you know, they, they're, not run, they're not runners. They're out there. Right. They, you know, have to raise funds for to get that charity bib and they put their body to the test and they're out there you know trying to get across that finish line and many of them uh, will be out there doing that and we'll be out there cheering them on all our information is at joeandrewsyfoundation.org mm -hmm. uh some great events coming up april 17th yep we have our upbeat comedy night for our marathon team wow at Raphael's in walpole Looking forward to a, a great, great bunch of laughs that night. Lenny Clark has Aww. partnered up with us along with uh, a bunch of his friends coming down and supporting the foundation, but it should be a, a fun night. Great. And also uh, Forum Restaurant, April 21st, will yeah. be there cheering all our runners on and many other runners. And June 30th is uh, our annual golf outing that we have for the foundation at Pine Hills Golf Course. So. Looking forward to uh, another great year of fundraising and being able to uh, help those that are in need. And that'll wrap up another segment of Talk of the Town. Be sure to go online, www.teamjaf.org, to make a donation to the Joe Andrewsy Foundation. Log on to Boston Herald every Thursday to see which Boston athlete or tremendous stories here in Boston will be highlighting next.